But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, as you see, we have a title, so we will open our Skype. So Muslims, if they like, they can join us and they can call. Uh, before I start talk about uh, the topic today, uh, we saw in the news that Muslims are uh, very upset because somebody is he did burn the Quran. And I don't know really what the Muslims are trying to prove to us, because if you wanted us to prove, burn the Quran, we can burn it. I mean, because burning cars will not stop us from burning the Quran. But for me, I believe that burning the Quran is not worth it. I mean, I need the Quran so I can laugh at the Quran. Um, so I say, you know, laugh at it, don't burn it, because we need it. Uh, however, I mean, when they do exaggerate with their violence and the stupidity, uh, you are encouraging people to do the opposite, you know, you're being stupid. At the same time, I say that the government in Sweden are really stupid government. Just deport 10 of those people, you will see all of them, they will behave. Just deport them, send them back where they come home. You don't like this country? Go back home. But, you know, stupid European countries, what we can say. And when I say stupid European countries, I mean your government, but you are stupid too, to vote for such a government. Anyway, so today we go to our topic, but before we start, uh, uh, we have to go uh, to some comments. Sorry, my page flipped to uh, yeah, Sheikh uh, Omad page. Uh, we have uh, some comment made by some people. That's why I was a little bit, little bit uh, late for you, because I was trying to read the comments in the comment section. Here we have a Muslim, always Muslim, by the way, they use fake names and, you know, suddenly, suddenly uh, Fatima, she is Sandra and uh, uh, Muhammad, he is John, uh, you know, it's just a game so they can make you feel, you know, like, oh, this is not a Muslim. Here you will see a Muhammadan, her name is Sandra, as she called herself, Sandra Fatima Aisha. Uh, you know, the Muslims, they argue about uh, the sign of the resurrection or the death of Jesus. And uh, the funny is, uh, I don't know how silly, how stupid this argument is, because even your stupid Quran agreed that Jesus was, or he is alive. And if this is the case, then we need to ask ourselves, how? You know, can a Muslim man tell us how? Every human being is, burned, is born sorry, uh, to, to die, you know, from dust to dust. Muhammad himself is dead. The Quran confirmed that all messengers, they died. See, the Quran did not even leave one exception. Like there's nobody in the Quran did not die. If we go to the Sidi book of Muhammad, we will find this, the yellow pages of Muhammad. Uh, the Quran always used the word قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلْ All messengers before, before that person pass, pass away. And this is a statement is obviously made by a foolish man. His name is Muhammad. Because in on one hand, he says that 
all messengers before Muhammad they pass away as you see here chapter 3 verse number 144 and then on the other hand he says Jesus is alive you know so uh, uh, when, a, when a Muhammad and he argue about the Bible suddenly he became expert he want to explain to us the Bible and he is expert in his book but he cannot explain a single line in his stupid book and this is why we laugh and by the way yesterday or two days ago we have a Muslim remember the guy who claimed I don't know at that time when he said that to me that word but people they make comment in the comment section saying that word mean that he have a disability of let us say he don't uh, he have a disorder of reading you know and some Christian they say he was not missing he was not joking he was telling you that he have that you know Christians are very naive people as usual nothing change the guy he was reciting for me Quran for less at least five minutes he was reading Arabic which is a very complicated language and he cannot give me the answer in English and you will find the Christian saying Christian Prince this person was not really messing up with you. He is telling you he have a disorder. And he explained to me what that word means. This is how naive the Christians is. You know, the guy he called me, the guy he volunteered, the guy he throw, spoke to me already four times. And he read each time he called me. And now suddenly he have an illness. Like what happened in 24 hours you got sick and you cannot read no more. So I want to uh, warn the Christians. If you are not vigilant and a person with intelligence you are in the wrong place go watch cartoon go watch cartoon those people they are professional liars they call you to play victim so they can earn support from the full audience i'm not making fun of anyone i want an answer i keep repeating the question I, okay you cannot read it can't you give me the answer read it with your eyes your heart Give me the answer. You, you can't talk, can't you? He can't, right? He's calling me names. He's making fun of me. But then you will find an idiot in the chat or in the in the comment section. You know, he is taking his side somehow. And yet they are Christians. Because simply those people are very naive. And they have a, they have a good heart. But your good heart is not connected to your brain, obviously. Now we go back to the here. Chapter 3, verse number 144. It says, Muhammad was only a messenger. There live other messengers before him. Any Muslim agree with this translation? This is what the verse is saying? <laughs> no dignity, no honesty, no loyalty to what they call the word of God. I mean, those people, they claim and they shout and they scream that we are the one who preserve the Quran. If you preserve the Quran, why you are corrupting the Quran in your translation because this is a corruption in Arabic it says قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهُ الرُّسُلْ mean all messengers before him pass away anyone see the word pass away here? no it says there is live messenger before him well is that Allah telling us in use now? I mean don't we know? if you change the translator just to show you how this religion works it says the religion of the devil let us go to Biktal. Biktal, a Muslim, Muhammad Biktal, another terrorist. Muhammad is but, I don't know, I think you are missing the word, the second T in the, in the word. But, uh, you mean one T, but? Okay. A messenger. A messenger between two brackets, like whom have passed away before him. Look. In the previous translation, it says, messengers live before him. In the second translation, it says, between two brackets, and then, have passed away before him. Still, this is false, because what the verse is saying, but the khalat min qablihi rusulu, which means all messengers before him, they pass away. All of them. But the khalat, khalat, it's coming from empty, you know, like, that's it. Nobody is left. They lie. Let us change different translator. This is Big Tal. Let us see Hilali and Khan. You know, they try to duct tape the stupidity of Muhammad. It's a duct tape religion. And the market is out of duct tape. I mean, China cannot make no more. Okay, it says here, Muhammad S-A-W. Mm -hmm. 
This is the only region have SW and FAW and you know, like, okay. No more than a messenger. Oh, he is no more than a messenger. So why you call him a prophet? I mean, you see the stupidity here. In one hand, Muhammad, he claimed to be a prophet. In the other hand, he says he is just a messenger. So if he is just a messenger or he is a prophet and messenger at the same time, a messenger can be an angel coming to Mary and deliver a message. A prophet is the one who prophesies about the future. Muhammad is just a messenger. And it is the Muslim, by the way, who make a difference. For me, I don't see too much different because, uh, I mean, if the message is coming from God about something unseen, well, this is a prophecy. But anyway, here it says, between two brackets, look at the lies, look at the fabrication. You see, they are fixing the Quran. Many, between two brackets, messengers have passed away before him not exist it doesn't say nowhere many it says all messengers they pass away before him not many what many okay if it's many that's mean there's some they did not i mean do you see the, even the stupidity when they try to duct tape this cult if you say many messengers before him pass away that's mean there's still too many they did not <laughs> and they are and this is mean they are still alive until now i mean this is the religion of stupidity literally so the quran confirmed that all messengers before jesus they pass away and not only that if you go to the video of sheikh umran he said that clearly the quran says inni mutawafika mutawafika and he explained that it's mean I am going to take your life and I will take you up to me. So you have to die first. Here we go. If you read the translation of chapter 3, verse number 55, the same chapter, and remember when Allah said, and here you see the stupidity, you know. Uh, uh, okay, how we can remember what Allah said? Who was there? Who witnessed it? Who heard it? Who saw it? I mean, do you see the stupidity? I remember when Allah said, when you say and remember, you know, that's mean Muhammad, he, he was there. Because I'm reminding him, in what, where? Oh Isa, I will take you and rise you to myself. Where it says I will take you and rise you to your son to myself. Where is the word that will kill you first? Where is the word that will make you die first? It's gone. You change the translator. This is Hilali and Khan. This is the game of translation. They are, you know, this is a religion. The translation of it is made by pervert, trying to cover their pervert prophet. Maududi, let us see Maududi, Mr. Maududi. I like Dudi. Dudi Biden. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> When Allah, he said, O oh Jesus, I will recall you and raise you, recall you. Uh, well, I heard that BMW are recalling some of their cars. Recall you? What does that mean? I mean, do you see the stupidity? Let us change the translator. Hmm. He, he, Allah is making a recall. Hello, Mayday, Mayday. Call Jesus, okay? We have to take him back here. Okay, you are near, okay. We, there is a, we found there is a problem. Hmm. Recall? Carry, let us see this carry. Who is this carry? Where, where are you getting from? I don't know. Okay, I shall take you, I shall take your soul. Like, what the heck? This guy is getting even better. Oh, Jesus, I shall take your soul. Okay, hold on. How come all of this never appeared in the previous translation? Here we go. Now we find out that Allah will take his soul. What does that mean? It means he died. Guys, we did not change the Quran. We just flipped in the same stupid website. And then we find the Abdul or a Balbula coming to us to explain to us what happened to Jonah. Let us see this uh, Muhammad Fatima Sandra. With righteous uh, indication, Jesus reply. Uh, let us go to the to the better and the and the and the cheese here. Jesus said, no sign. He does not refer to the Jews, to the blind, 
to the etc. Like all the sign, the, the miracles he did, he says no sign, no sign but one, the sign of the prophet Jonas. And then this female Balbula Muhammadan, she mentioned that well, you know, Jonah did not die. So how Jesus he compare himself to Jonah? Uh, and she posed this comment. Dead or alive, since Jonah was selfless sigh offering himself as a victorious sacrifice, there was a need for struggling for him. First of all, first of all, you are a potato, like you're a prophet. Nowhere Jonah he offered himself to be a sacrifice. When the people of the ship they find out that the storm happening, obviously, because of somebody, he disobeyed God. And they question Jonah, if you go to Jonah chapter 1, they question Jonah, what you did? They ask him, wake up, man. Why you don't wake up and pray to your God to save us? And then the conversation lead them to know that this person, he did disobey God, and he was trying to escape the mission which God, he gave him to do. So, if we go to Jonah, you can read Jonah 1 from verse number 1 and all the way to the end. I mean, it's a short chapter anyway. Uh, uh, you, you you know, uh, 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 in verse number uh, uh, five and four, you will see Jonah, he go inside the ship in the sleep as if nothing happening. Uh, even though the, the, the storm is all over and storm is so strong. And then uh, the, the sailors in the ship, they say to themselves, well, you know, uh, let us uh, make uh, like, uh, I don't know what they call it in English, uh, like, you know, you write some names and you choose the one and the one who you pick up his name, he would do the thing, you know. So they say, let us do this. And uh, uh, th they did that. And the, the, the name of Jonah came. So they came, this is why they came to Jonah. And they said to him, tell us what you did and why this is happening. You know, they said to them, well, I am a Hebrew. You know, I am from the, from Israel. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm, I run away, you know, simply. I believe in God, the one who created everything. And, uh, and then, you know, they discuss with him. And then when Jonah, he said, you know, when he was talking to them in verse number 11, they said to him, actually, let me open the verse. Hold on. I'm just recording from my memory. Uh, just to be sure. Give me a second. You will see now, Jonah, he have no choice. He said, you know what? Okay, well, just, you know, then they throw me. You know, they were wondering what they would do. I mean, things is, is tense and they didn't know what to do. So when this woman, she says, uh, he voluntarily, uh, even that, I mean, that's not a big deal because Jesus at the end of the day, he volunteer, you know, to uh, for the cross. He did not... Uh, he said, nobody can take my soul, my, 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 you know, my soul from me. I lay down myself. Uh, let's open the verse. All right, let us see. <clears throat> And we can use any translation, it doesn't matter, you know. So here, this is Jonah, uh, chapter 1. Let's wait on the screen. This is from verse number 1, verse number 2. You can open your Bible from your side and you can read. And then you will say, the Lord, he sent the great wind. So obviously, the, the, the wind is happening by the order of the Lord. Uh, in the sea, where the ship is carrying uh, Jonah. And this is verse number four. Uh, and then the, the sailors, they were terrified. Uh, even they start throwing uh, goods from the ship. You know, they start throwing things from the ship so they can uh, uh, save the ship from the weight. Uh, and then, you know, those, those sailors, they said to themselves, well, let us have a, 
you know, let us make an, an I don't know what the game they call it. Uh, let us choose uh, the name, pick up a name by luck, let us say, and the one who his name is going to show up is going to be the reason for this, you know. And obviously, this is not really a game. Uh, otherwise, the Lord Himself, obviously, He made them pick up the name of Jonah. So, when they pick up the name and they found that Jonah is the one that fell onto him, to him, this uh, this uh, this game. Uh, they said to him, tell us, uh, uh, you know, why this is happening, you know, what, who are you, you know, you are just a passenger, who are you, what is your problem, what, uh, what you did, uh, from which country you are, who is your people, uh, and then he said to them, well, I am a Hebrew, I fear the Lord, the God of heaven, which has made the sea and the dry land. Uh, and then those men, they were really terrified. Obviously, the ship is flipping all over, I mean, almost coming down. And they said to him, uh, so, uh, like, what happened? Why this is happening? And what we will do? You know, they are trying uh, to find a solution. Obviously, you know, like, because of you, none of us belong to this. Uh, your God is the reason for this, you know. And then when uh, Jonah when he finds that they are throwing their stuff, they are throwing everything, and they are gathering around him, he have no other choice. He said, okay, what you will do? I mean, because either they will kill him, or they will, you know, he said, okay, throw me in the ocean. And this is why it says there it in, in verse number 12. So when this guy, he said, he said, sacrifice himself, you are being stupid. Uh, uh, because still, if you jump in the water, you are not dead. You know, you are not dead. You might be able to hold the piece, or obviously, already they are throwing uh, uh, their product in the water, and many things can be floating, and he can hold himself there, and maybe they are, you know, he might die, you might live. It's not still sacrifice yet, but he have no choice. And then uh, after they throw, uh, you know, when he actually he told them why, okay, throw me in the ocean because this is because of my sake, because of me, you know, I'm the reason for that. All right, for I know that is because for my sake, this is a great thing happening. So I am the reason for it. Okay, throw me. But you will notice that Jonah he was sleeping, trying to avoid any uh, confrontation with people, and, and he did not tell them anything about what he did, what he's running from. Uh, uh, so, and this is how you know Jonah he end uh, in the water. As it says here in verse number 15. So they took, they took up Jonah and they cast him forth in the sea. And here you ask yourself, when somebody says volunteer, why you need to cast him? He would jump. You know, I mean, people they are really weird. They, they have a little brain, or they, you know, if you have an agenda, you you, you claim you do not know how to read. If I'm a person voluntarily, uh, I wanna go out of the ship, I will jump. There's no need to cast me. You cast a person because obviously he have a lot of hesitation to do it himself or he don't want to do it. Maybe he said it, but he don't want it to happen. He would just say it, maybe, okay, uh, throw me. But maybe he never thought they would do it. So uh, otherwise they will not need to cast him. He will go to the top of the ship, walking his feet, and he will jump from the top, from the edge of the ship. It's very easy, you know? The ship uh, is not, uh, the fence of the ship is not 10 kilometers high. Uh, to the point he needs somebody to cast him from it. So people, they are silly and they say stupid things in order to prove a point. And then, if we go back to the uh, to this Balbula, focus with me guys in the topic, because I see people in the chat, I look from time to time, and I see people in the chat, they have no idea what we are talking about, and they are asking questions. Look, this guy is asking about Khadija. What this topic we are talking now about have, have to do with Khadija? It's mean your brain is not with us? And you don't deserve actually to be here. Be mature adult, we have a topic. So here it says, and she make it in big, take me up and cast me. We, we, we know we prove that you are a stupid because if, uh, 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 if he want to jump, he will jump. There's no need to, to, you know, he said, throw me, throw me out. Okay, throw me out. But obviously he don't want to do it because there is no need to throw him. You no, know, when I say throw me out, 
Well, I need, why do you want to throw me out? I throw myself. Was Jonah a person who cannot walk? Was he a person who is disabled? He cannot even stand up? That is, can be possible if he is one of those. He cannot walk, he cannot stand up, he is in disability, and that's it. Then, okay, cast me, because simply I cannot do it myself. Uh, and then he or she said, the question is now serious, that when the shipmaster and the crew threw him overboard, was Jonah dead or alive? Any Christian child who has attended Sunday school will give you immediate answer, he was alive. Well, you idiot, well, if they cast him, they cast him out of the ship, he was alive. Actually here, uh, you see, I just mentioned that Jonah, in order for them to cast him, why they are casting him? Either he is disabled, he cannot walk, or maybe he's dead. <laughs> But I don't think he was dead, you know, that's what the verse is saying. But we can play the game, the Muslim they play, right? But because simply he, he, he did not need to cast me, okay, I will throw myself. You know, if he's, he's doing it voluntarily, why you need to cast a person? Why you need to push him? If a person wants to throw himself from the cliff, why you need to push him? He will throw himself, he's doing it voluntarily, as you said, but you are dumb. But about, so when, uh, uh, when Jonah... Uh, throw overboard, he was dead or alive, well, he was alive, but what did that mean have to do with the topic? You are silly stupid. If you go, let us open Jonah chapter 2. Because the story continue there. Uh, potatoes. In Jonah chapter 2, we will find Actually, we missed the part in Jonah uh, uh, chapter 1, uh, here at the end, where it says we did not read this part. So the Lord, he prepared a great fish, a whale, and they swallowed Jonah. And Jonah was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. Now, the argument of those potatoes, they say to you that Jonah, he did not die. Let us see if this is true or not. We go to Jonah chapter 2. Jonah, he prayed to the Lord, out of the fish, Billy, obviously at this moment he is alive. And he said, I cried by reason of mine, affliction to the Lord, and he heard me, cut off the belly of, uh, uh, of the hell carried, and I, though hardest my voice. You know, uh, uh, King James Version for me, it's hard to read, it's a very heavy duty English. Uh, here, first of all, you will see the belly, uh, the belly of... Uh, of the hell, you know, the belly of the fish presenting the belly of hell. And hell is death. For uh, the, the Bible, many times, there's tons of verses in the Old Testament and the New Testament. When you speak about if somebody is, uh, send you to hell, it doesn't mean really hell, uh, the eternity hell. It is death, you know, like this is, this is, the, uh, this is the other word where, you know, uh, if the person is, uh, uh, is bad, he will go to hell. And obviously, Jonah here, he confessed that he was bad. For he disobeyed God. So where he will go? He will go to heaven. He will go to hell. And obviously this is what's happening as a punishment for him for what he did. And then, uh, for thou had cast me into the deep. And here you see the stupid woman who made the comment. She said that he did voluntarily jump in the water. Here it says, for thou had cast me into the deep. <laughs> So do you see, guys, how little reading can, can get those people busted? Just little reading, it will show you how stupid they are in their comment section. All right? So who is really the one who cast Jonah? The previous verse says the sailors, right? But Jonah, he understands that all of this happening for the Lord, he wanted to happen. So who is the one? Uh... You mean what? I know some people making comment. Okay, some people they are uh, giving a better translation. No problem. You see, it doesn't matter really. Uh, uh, same, same, uh, same. Uh, Sheol or Hados mean a grave. Yeah, actually, it depends on the translation. It's not no problem. We are going there. Just wait. You know, have 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 patience. 
uh, for sure, if you are a person who read the, the original language, and uh, let us say this is our weakness here, you know, if I am a person who speaks Hebrew, I would for sure I would do better. But if you ask the, the, the Jews themselves, they agree that Jonah, he was dead in the, inside the fish. Uh, but even if he is not, I mean, we will see how that will not make a difference anyway. But if we go and read more, uh, like here, uh, uh, the belly of the hell, of hell, uh, if we, uh, you know, if you are a person who study uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament, you know how and what that word means. So, why a person he is in the belly of hell if he is alive? Or he will be alive. You know, you don't go to hell until it is after life. Hell and heaven is something will happen after life only. It's not before. So, even we use this translation, still this word can work very fine. All right? Uh, and I know, like some people, they will say, uh, no, there's a better, better translation. It's okay, no problem, as you see. You don't go to hell or to heaven. And all of us, we agree on that. Until you die. You don't. Now, for sure, there's exception, like Jesus now is uh, in heaven. And uh, even when Jesus, he went down in hell, but Jesus did not go to hell. This is death. You know, like when Jesus died, he entered into hell. But that hell is what? is death, is not hell, you know, like hell where people go to, to be punished. But all of us, we knew that a person, when you mention hell, we mention heaven, that must happen after death, not before. Otherwise, before death, what hell? You know, I'm not entering hell anywhere. If a person, he go to jail, he is not in hell. If a person, he uh, suffering from illness, he is not in hell. If somebody is... Uh, he loses his feet, he loses his hands, he is blind, he did not enter hell. So when you enter hell, you enter hell after death. Uh, so here actually it's a clear sign, it says that Jonah obviously, he, he speak. And you know, we need to remember this. Uh, the story here is reporting, or there is a reporter of the story, right? So the story, as it's taught by Jonah, what Jonah, what happened, what he experienced. But here we see uh, that there is, there is a person is reporting the story. So you need to understand that, that there is a person from his uh, point of view as a narrator, he is reporting what happened to Jonah and what Jonah said. Then we continue. And if you don't like this translation, you can change. I mean, I don't, it doesn't matter really for me. We can use, uh, let us see, there is a Jewish uh, there is a Jewish translation, I believe, here in this website. Uh, Orthodox Jews. I don't know where we we'll find it. Let us see. Orthodox Jews. I am not sure where it is. I think there is one here. Let me hold on. Let me find it. Because I remember once I saw Orthodox Jews. Okay, let us see. Oh. I know I, I don't find it. I believe I remember I saw it once. Maybe they put it in their other languages. Let us see, because it's mixed with Hebrew. Oh, let us see here, and they're all. <clears throat> Um, all right, it looked like they put it in their, uh, the other languages. All right. <clears throat> or we can use the Aramaic translation. But anyway, if we go... We will find in chapter 2, let us go back to the screen, give me a second. Uh, 
all right. Uh, you will see here Jonah is speaking about what's happening to him, describing exactly what's happening to him. So if you go to verse number five, uh, in verse four, you know, he knew, he admit that he was cast into the deep uh, in the middle of the sea. And, uh, you know, all of this because simply he was a sinner because he did something wrong. And then I said, I am cast off this of, of this side, which means I am cast off his, of your mercy. Uh, and he is giving the reasoning for what's happening to him, why it's happening. And in the same time, he is making a promise that I'm going to do what you want me to do. I did wrong, but I admit, I admit I did wrong. But at the same time, I promise I will look at your holy uh, temple again. I will look at your holy, holy teaching to me, your holy orders. And then here it says, and this is the, the Jewish uh, you know, translation here. It's not a translation, really. They are mixing Hebrew with some uh, English. Uh, maybe this is why the English is better. You know, I mean, you have to know some Hebrew here. Uh, but then you will see that the water... Uh, composed me and uh, uh, and it's covered me it's totally covered me let us use different translation here because maybe this word maybe is not familiar for many of you let me see uh, What nefesh mean? Uh, let us see. Uh, hmm. Read here carefully. I just search in Google. You know, this is a, you know, a, a pure Hebrew. So. The water is in my throat. It's cover. It's cover me. It's close around me, and now it is in my throat. So Jonah is drowning. Jonah is drowning. And where he is, he is in the depth, in the depth of the water, not in the top of the water. You know, he is inside the belly, yes, but he is in the dip of the water because it's still, you know, the if you if you study the the wheel. The whale is not not uh, like a fish; it's a mammal, and they have a different system. You know, they have a, their stomach is different. Uh, uh, so it's possible for a person actually uh, to survive for some time, but for sure not for long. You know, because uh, it depends how much water he put in in his in his uh, stomach, and uh, how much food he dump over you. I don't know if you watch any documentary about the, the whale you will see what i'm talking about but obviously he is now in the depth and the water is in his throat and the water is all around him if you don't like this translation if you are abdul you're not satisfied i heard once zach and Naik, he like esv you know he like he say esv is the is the best translation you know zuzu he knew best uh, as long as this is a translation that Muhammad and they like more, uh, we can go there just to make them happy. Customers come first. Where is the SEV? SEV or ARV? Yeah, SEV. Here we go. This is ESV. 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 All right. And here you will see again. We go. The deep surrounded me. The water closed over closed in over me to take my life. He is dying. The moment. That's it. He is describing that it's over. He is dying now. And not only that, there's things going around his neck and his head. Whatever the whale he swallow, 
is warbing around him, around his head. At the roots of the mountains, I went deep to the land, whose bear closed upon me, favor. So you brought up my life from the bed. So he gave him what? He gave him life again. So if this person is not dead, I mean, the verse is so clear. You brought up my life. If I don't, if I have, if I'm not dead yet, it, well, he did not give me the life. He just saved me from dying. But you brought up my life. And again, you can do the game of translation. If you don't like this translation, you can change it. But you will see all they will end in the same way. So here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammad. And when they say, well, Jesus, you know, if Jesus, he said, this is the sign of Jonah, uh, then he should be dead in the, in the, uh, in the grave. Uh, same as Jonah did in the, uh, in the sea. Uh, but Jonah did not die. And here I, I find very a very stupid argument, because even if Jonah never died, you know, Jesus, he said, you can destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. You can destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. So the temple will be destroyed and that is life. Because when you crucify somebody, well, still his hands is there, his head is there. You know? I mean, you did not cut him pieces. Still there is head, there is hands, there is all his body. So what is destroyed? The life. So you can destroy this temple, I can rebuild it in three days. And then the story of Jonah, being inside the deep, is what Jesus is talking about, for three days. Remember here, that when a stupid Abdul, he come to us and say, well, Jesus, obviously that means he did not die, if this is the sign. Well, Jesus was take, taken from the cross, the cross to a tomb not to a hospital and people don't take somebody to the tomb unless he is dead already so here you see the ignorant and the, and the games they play again uh and this is sandra hey sandra do you like to call me so we can love together hey sandra do you like to call me Uh, this is the Sandra, you know, the, the, the funny lady. It might be a guy, by the way, because they use, uh, you know, fake names so they can add ladies to their names and talk to them. Uh, as you see here, it says, and you brought up my life. You gave me a You gave me life. Well, if he is not dead, why he is giving him life? How that work? You know? Uh, and you know, like three days, three nights, you are inside a belly of a whale and what is inside the belly anyone can tell me guys what is inside the belly it's not only the water there is going to kill you it is the acid in the belly because remember this is where the whale he digest he destroyed whatever he swallow correct so let us say this is not a swimming pool this is not a jacuzzi and around you there's a candles there's three days, three nights, and the acid is digesting you. And imagine this is a wheel. This is not a belly of a human, you know? So if you could not, if you survive from the water, well, you will not survive the acid. You will not survive the things which became like a, like a jelly, you know? Like, because this is what happened to the food, you know? When you, when you throw up, you throw up, you know, like this disgusting stuff because simply the the the, uh, the stomach is digesting and make it hollow, and then you know, like became liquid, totally liquid, and then the body will suck it and take it as a as a as energy. So when when a fool a foolish person he come to us and he say, well, Jonah obviously was alive. That is very stupid of you because number one, it's impossible. It's impossible. If you don't die by the water, you would die by the acid. Number two, it was not for two hours or three hours. This is three days, three nights. Three days, three nights. How long a human being can survive 
putting him inside a, a, a pool of acid. How long before he will be dead? Acid. You know, if your acid of your stomach come back to your throat, you will know what will happen. Extremely harmful. Correct? When, you, when people, they say they have a heart burn, burn you know? Uh, what is the heart burn? It's not your heart is burning, but your acid is going up to your throat. And that is extremely hard, extremely, extremely, it will burn you. You are literally burned. So imagine if all around you is acid. <laughs> so, I mean, their argument is very silly and very stupid. But look what happened. God is good. God is good. And God don't leave himself without witnesses. Uh, and this is why we find now the Muslims, they agree that, you know what? Jesus, he was killed in the cross. He died in the cross. And whoever say no, he is lying to himself. This is why Sheikh Osman, Sheikh Omran, he says, stop your nonsense. Stop what? Your nonsense. Look what Sheikh Omran, he said. A moment of truth between him and the Muslim. And by the way, the Muslim, they say things when they are behind their doors. They don't say to us when they are in our doors. My friend, somebody want to call me. Somebody want to call me. I got it. I got it. Take it easy. My Skype is not open yet. When I say my Skype is open, people can call me. And only Muslim can call me. Very simple. No need for this drama. Whoever want to call me, he can call me. Why, you, why even you need to tell me this guy want to call you? I mean, do you see like my Skype is the, the same as the heaven of Allah? He have a guard and they ask who is behind the door? Who is with you? What's wrong with you people? Soon I will open Skype and the Muslim who like to call me, you know, all what he need to do, he texts me and I will call him. Sometimes we stay for 10 hours waiting for a Muslim to call. So look what this Abdul, he said to the Muhammadan. And this is what they say behind doors, remember. Yeah. We gave him the Messiah, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, we killed him. In fact, if you and I were there, we would also come to the conclusion that he died. And you will hear him say. So if we, if me and you, we were there, we will come to the conclusion that he died. That's what he said. Now, if me and you were there in the belly of the whale for three days, three nights inside the acid, obviously acid for those Abduls are shampoo. And doesn't hurt. <laughs> and even when Jonah, he say, you gave me back my life, still he did not say that he died. Well, but this is Jonah talking, right? Hmm? Uh, you are trying to insult Sandra and go, Sandra, you will not find any husband here. You are very upset. Just get lost. Your maggot God. The one who have a maggot God is you God. Have you ever heard of a God? He don't have a stomach and he don't have an ass, but he yet he sat on the chair. How he sat. He must be a maggot. There's no ass, there's no shape, he's just an insect. Mark on God, a very angry female. Go and get a husband, go. You relax, you know. Uh, anyway, let us open our Skype. She's upset because we know, we show everybody how silly she is. And you know, by the way, those people don't even read. They copy paste articles. They did not even open the chapter to read. Let us open our Skype. If you are a Muslim, please just text me. Don't you cannot call me. I have only people who they are in my list, they can call me. Or if I spoke to you before uh, or text you, then you will be able to call me. Uh, 
Okay, we have a Mohammedan here. Let us see. Give me a second. <coughs> we are calling this guy. He called himself Sheikh. <laughs> Well, it says he is not online, I don't know. So he texts me and he's not online. I wanna show you an example. I don't like to show a message of people, but I wanna show you an example of mental illness. People who they, uh, you know, they, they chase me. Uh, this is a female. Uh, she is from Indonesia. She have like 3000 names. I block one, she come with the second one. I block the second one, she come with the third one. She called herself Nightmare. I don't know what kind of a stupidity human being he have. I, I don't know what, what to make a comment, but she keep making names after names after names. She, she went even to, to Patreon, she made a donation, I blocked her there. I mean, I don't know what to say with those stupid people. What's wrong with you? You don't have dignity, you don't have... Uh... Go find a man in a website, you idiot. Stupid people. You ha are you a Muslim? The one who says to me, can I call you? If you are a Muslim, you can. If you, if you are not, no. Do we have any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? I mean, even she called herself Nightmare. I mean, who is going to talk to you and you call yourself Nightmare? Hey guys, who, who, who wanna date Nightmare? Her name is Nightmare. Have fun. What's wrong with people? Obsession, madness, stupidity. Go offer yourself to the Prophet Muhammad. He will take you. This guy, he take anything. Do we have any Muhammadan? What, what, what is the Muhammadan who wanna text me? Obviously he's not a Muhammadan, right? Huh. Let us see this guy here. <coughs> We're trying to call another Muhammadan. If you are a Muhammadan and you like to join us, please feel free. And we will be happy to answer you. All right. The second Mohammedan we call, he did not answer. I am about to convert unless you can stop me. Uh, this person, he says he's about to convert to Islam unless I stop him. No, I don't care to stop you. Go convert. You are stupid. Anyone who says such a statement for me, it's uh, obviously you are seeking attention. You are not a, truth, a truthful person. And obviously you are a Muslim. I am going to convert unless you stop me. You remind me of Muhammad when he decided to throw himself from the top of the mountain. And then he was waiting for Jibreel to hold him from his panty and say, Muhammad Khabibi, don't, don't, don't throw yourself. Okay, Khabibi, you are truly, truly, you are a messenger of Allah. Go throw yourself. Dummy people. As I care. You want to go to hell, go to hell. And obviously you're already a Muslim. You're a Muslim. You're born as a Muslim. How in the world anyone want to accept a religion, promise you an endless penis? You must be stupid. You must be an, a penis. You end as a penis because your penis is way bigger than you. When there is a God, he promised me endless penis. That's mean you are not even one to a million percent as a person compared to your penis. So you want to say to me, I'm thinking to convert, convert, you know, stupid idiot. Yeah, okay, no problem, my friend. You are born into no religion, stay wherever you are. Go convert to Islam. I have no, I have no uh, interest in such a silly conversation. 
people who convert to such a religion they have mental issue and i can prove it endless penis so how long how tall you are and how tall is your penis your penis is endless you are not endless so all of you you become a penis so you know i'm thinking to convert to islam okay go and become a penis follow the penis god the penis of god is good you know at least you can screw with him but i don't know you will screw whom the first one you will be screwing is yourself people are stupid you know i mean what kind of a donkey will believe in such a stupid even donkeys will not accept it bring a donkey tell him listen if you believe in me i will give you a lot of female donkeys okay the donkey will look at you like what what the heck or what 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 you just said i mean do you even have to have a brain even donkeys don't accept such a stupid religion and 80,000 little boys how many how many brother and sister hey, Zachar Naik, are you there how come Zachar Naik did not call until now usually this guy he jumped from the middle of nowhere Britain Prince I'm watching you and I'm waiting for the moment and the moment just came hey, the moment just came so can you tell us why you will get 80,000 little ch little child in the heaven Britain Prince in the heaven you need people to make servant uh -huh. and what those servant they will do there other example uh, you need laundry hey, Zachary Naik you're a stupid fool the Quran says that even your clothes will never be ruined they will never be even wrinkled and they will never get dirty and you will never change them so what do you mean laundry okay Christian Prince forget about laundry they will make sense with it you stupid Zachary Naik isn't it your prophet he says whatever you wish you make a wish right away the password you see a bird in the sky right away will be in your dish so what do you mean a servant make sandwich for you okay Christian Prince they will serve you wine. They will serve you wine. 80,000 little boy to serve you wine. 80,000 to serve you wine. Like what the heck? This is religion. Christian Prince, I'm thinking to convert to Islam. Islam is very convincing. They have one God who can make my penis very endless, very big, and size that does, 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 does make sense. You know, all of us, we like size. You know, don't you like to have a big woman? Huh? Big TV? Huh? Big meat? And don't you like to have a big land? Here we go, your penis will be big. And how many servants you will have? 80,000? That's deep. Isn't it obvious that this guy is making fun of you, you idiots? Stupidity is amazing. Look at this hadith here. They asked Muhammad, what is the lowest reward in heaven? You see, many people, they keep saying to you that the reward is 72 versions, right? This is false. This is for the very, 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 very bad Muslim, the one who don't pray. You understand? The lowest, the lowest, the last one will enter from the door of the heaven is the last and the, the last and the list. So here, the least of the people of paradise, the least the least okay what they will get brother and sister this one will get 80,000 little boy and 22 wives <laughs> oh lord have mercy do we have any abdul he is proud about his cult Anyone? Who is a Muhammad? And he can call us. You see the title of the video today? Is Muhammad is true a prophet or not? Who can prove it to us? Without a drama. If you want to call me to complain, don't call me. I will hang up on you. I'm not a customer service. A person saying to me, hello CP, I am an ex-Muslim agnostic. I have a question that the pastor was not able to answer me. I think this is the same person, he just changed his name. Yeah, good to try. If you are a Muslim, text me.
and I will call you. Text me just to call you, not to talk to me. I don't want to text back. Anyone? Any Abdul? Remember, if you call me, you will go to heaven. You will get the 70, 80,000 servant boys. All of them are boys. The Quran described them, those boys, uh, as they are very sexy. And they are white, very white, like pearls. Chapter 52, verse number 24. Uh, let us see this guy. We'll give him a chance. Maybe he is being honest. We will see. Let us call him.